Hello again and welcome to Programming Access 2013. I'm your host, Steve Bishop. We're just going to be tying up the last few bits of loose ends here for uh, some of our data. Last time we add, we tied in the employees to the customers and now we need to go ahead and set up those relationships in our relationship mapper. But before we do that, I do need to make one small little quick correction. If you remember in our employees table, uh, we had a field name called employee type. And I did not follow my own naming convention here. So what I got to do is go into the design view and I got to go change employee type to underscore ID. Now if you also remember in the last time uh, when I tried to make such a change to this field and I tried to save it, it gave me an error. Well, this time it's not going to give me an error. It's going to let me just go ahead and do it, no problem. And that's because I did not change the data type. The data type was still a number. All I did was change the name of the column. One important thing to understand is that once this is set and you start building your application around this being the name of the field, uh, you can, if you go back and you try to change this, you're going to have to go into your code and into all your queries and everything and change all of them to match your new field name. And that can become a real, real serious problem. So uh, I definitely recommend that you make sure of your naming convention, try to plot out how your data is going to be mapped out. Try to get that as down pat and, and as fixed as you can possibly get it before you move on to developing your forms and your reports. And your, of course, your VBA code. Um, Clearly, there are going to be times where the information is going to change or you decide that I need to make a design change. That's going to happen, and as they come across, you're going to have to adjust for it. But for right now, I think we're pretty well set with that. We can go ahead and go into our database tools, go into our relationships, and we can set up that employees to customers relationship that we need to set up. So I'm going to go add the table, add the employees, and then in order for this relationship, remember this is a many-to-many -many relationship that we set up. So I need to add that third table, which is employees, customers. Close that down. And employee ID. This is a join type of, let's see. We, yeah, we're definitely going to want to have and include everybody, create that and customer ID to customers and I'm gonna go ahead and say this join type is where show all customers and I may not have an employee assigned to them yet so I wanna go ahead and allow them to show the customers anyway even if there's no employee ID that shows up alright so there we go we are complete with a relationship mapping um, Clearly, there will be more tables as we move along. There's going to be more types of data that we're going to need to store. Uh, when we get into the coding, we may actually store some data in tables for our coding. But this is the core base of what our application is going to look like. Uh, I hope everything flows together and you can understand how this is all going to be organized. I hope it makes sense to you. I know your own application that you'll eventually be developing is not going to be an exact replica of this. You're going to have your own different pieces of information you're going to want to keep track of. Uh, and if you have any questions about your own database and how you should set up this relationship mapping, feel free to send me a message uh, on YouTube here. Send me a message you know, in my inbox and I'll be happy to respond to it. If you want to go ahead and comment, like, or subscribe, feel free to do so now. Um, I'm sure you'll enjoy a lot of these, uh, these upcoming videos that are going to give you a lot more information. The next section is uh, still going to be continuing with some of the database stuff. We're going to just kind of get into the SQL. Um, how do you set up a SQL query to get your data and display it out to yourself uh, or to your user?